Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today I wanted to share with you some of these lizard skins. This is it from DSP, Durasoft Polymer Controller Grips? And I got a few of them sent to me in the mail from this company. Uh, so you can see lizard skin. You got a Switch Joy-Con grip, controller grip. It tells you how it feels like. It feels like a real, like, um, I guess tough, gritty feel on the bottom. We're going to put these on and try them. I also got this controller grip for the Joy-Con. And then I asked for a PS5, I mean a PS4 controller grip. So you can see I got that style. And then an Xbox controller controller grip. So I got four different ones that we're going to check out, take a look at today and stuff like that. I will leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check out these brands and stuff. Um... Very interesting to see how they feel. So let's go ahead. We're going to open this Joy-Con. And you can see that's the design that it looks like underneath. Kind of has like a weird uh, abstract type of look to it. So let me go ahead and grab my Joy-Con off my Nintendo Switch. I just had the plain old plain Jane Joy-Cons. My original Joy-Cons broke. I had the neon ones that came with the launch Switch. Hey, <laughs> they broke. I was very upset. So here we go. Let's go ahead. We're going to open the package. And these seem like some pretty small um, packages. Just like a paper thin cardboard package. So that's cool. And uh, just rip it open. Rip this sucker open. And here we go. Alright. Should be easy enough to install, right? And I wonder if you could take them off easy and slide them off. But there's what it looks like. Looks like you just kind of peel them off and peel them right on and let's see so step-by-step -step instructions and then there's like a little pad I guess you wash the actual Joy-Con down with the wipe and you place them on so here we go we're going to tear open the Joy-Con just a tad and uh, wipe it down like that rap song says wipe it down now I wonder if these are removable or not <laughs> I hope they are ah, I dropped my joy-con ah, here it is all right so all right so I think this is the right one yeah these sticky little residue they seem like they do move off oh gosh that sucker sticks on good. <laughs> so it looks like you place it, place that sucker on just like this, kind of move it down. It's kind of a uh, hard to, uh, hard to put on there. Cause I'm not exactly, um, what would the word be? I'm not exactly a uh, steady handed. We'll just move it like that. I'm not exactly standy, steady handed, so this might be a little cringy. <laughs> but we're gonna leave it in. We're gonna leave it in here. We're gonna leave it. And uh, look at this. I'm actually able to take it off and put it on multiple times, so that's good, right? <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> doesn't look like it's taken off the paint either. I know early skins on the Switch raised concern for that let me go ahead and take a look at this package oh i had it upside down i'm so dumb <laughs> i had it on the wrong one i had it upside down that's what that's what the issue was all right so here we go looked at the package and it helped me there we go that took longer than it should have but you can see Right there, that's how it wrapped. Yeah, I'm going to title this Middle-Aged Hairy Man Fumbles Around with Joy-Con Skin for Five Minutes. So that's that one. <laughs> All right, and uh, where'd the second one go? Oh, here it is. All right, not too shabby. And uh, these are able to be removed they're basically just like stuck on with 
some kind of sticky uh, gel matter. And you can see, there we go. So we got them both on there. I mean, they're all right. They, they, they allow you to, if, I guess if your hands get sweaty, mine gets sweaty. <laughs> if your hands get sweaty, they allow you to actually have a little bit more of a better grip. Which comes in handy for certain games. I know like I've been playing Mario 3D All-Stars recently. And uh Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let's uh Well we'll take care of that one. I was trying to remove it and straighten it a little bit. And then of course the next one I have is the all red one. It's gonna fit exactly the same. It'll just be all red instead of this cool looking thing. Uh, now we're going to do the Xbox controller. This one looks interesting enough. So let's go ahead. We'll take a look at the Xbox controller. I have a white one, so I think this will look cool on it. All right. Ooh, it comes with a lot of different pieces. That's interesting. So it comes with back pieces and front pieces. And uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so this is a back piece. Something like that. <laughs> so I just got to press it down better, but it wraps around like that. That's the back piece. And then this part, front piece, the back piece, kind of looks uh, a little interesting. You know, it's not, it's not on super spot on, but you get the gist. Seems like it's pretty easy to install and you're able to remove it and put it back on and stuff. Lizard grip. And let's go ahead, we'll put on the next one. All right, and let's put this next one on. So it is a little pretty sticky, like 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 almost like a fly trap sticky, which is why I kind of have a little bit of trouble doing it, but it's not too bad. Oh, I think I might have did this side much better than the the other end you can see there it goes so kind of what the finished product looks like <laughs> i might not have did it super perfectly but you could feel it is pretty tough feeling it's not as slippery it feels durable inside your hands it's, it kind of has like that that tough leathery feel that i guess maybe if your hands got sweaty it wouldn't be easy to to like slip or whatever because my hands get sweaty a lot during gaming <laughs> if i'm gonna be honest now we're gonna put this on our uh this next one the playstation one we're going to do it on uh my all black playstation 4 controller i'm not gonna put it on the darth vader i do have a darth vader one but we're not gonna do that to that so let's go ahead give me a second let me grab the playstation controller Good old black. And I do have a like a whitish matte PlayStation controller that's unopened actually still. <laughs> For whatever reason, I got it as a gift and I never opened it. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so we have this black and white one that I think is going to look pretty legit. And, uh, Let's go ahead, figure this shiznit out. Okay, so this part goes in the front. Very interesting how companies come up with stuff like this. This one's gonna go easier. This one already, I already figured this one out. Like the back of me on, so I put the front ones on already, both front ends. Looks okay, it's kinda hard to see with the black version of the PlayStation controller. Move that in. And I've never had skin stuff like this on my controller. So it's interesting to kind of check them out a little bit and see how they work. I'm kind of rushing doing this one, so it might it might not be perfectly spawn on, but it seems like I'm able to redo them basically you could just take them off kind of re replace them on there i'm doing this more so you guys can get the visual stuff like that 
All right, so there we go. All right, so PlayStation 4 controller completed. It kind of goes around. You just kind of, yeah, I mean, it feels good. It feels like it's a solid grip that's not going, that's going to help you maintain the controller and stuff. So not half bad. Here's the PlayStation one. Here's the Xbox one. And then, of course, I did the Joy-Con one. So this was the DSP Lizard skin uh, skins compatible with PS4, Xbox, and the Joy-Con. I think they had some Pro Controller ones too, but I didn't do that because I have the NES shell on my Pro Controller. So I don't know, guys. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Check out the link down below if you're interested in more. I'll see you guys on the next one. Enough of me bumbling around. <laughs> I'll see ya. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.